It's high time for France to lift its knee off our neck and put an end to this unjust oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization, and neocolonization have caused immeasurable suffering. It's time to put an end to this cycle of oppression. It's high time for France to leave us alone. It's time for France to take a cue from its European neighbors and learn a valuable lesson in independence. Diomaye is Sonko. This particular slogan, safe to say, put the newly elected president of Senegal Faye in office. In a very much anticipated move, Senegal's newly elected president, Basiru Diomaye Faye, has appointed his ally and longtime friend Usmane Sonko, a controversial politician and his key supporter, as the country's prime minister. Faye made the announcement shortly after his swearing-in ceremony on Tuesday, where he promised to bring about systemic change after years of turmoil under his predecessor, Macky Sall. Sonko, who is 49 years old, has been at the center of a two-year-long standoff with the government, which had triggered bouts of severe unrest. He was disqualified from running in the March 24 presidential elections due to a defamation conviction, and instead, he picked Faye as his replacement on the presidential ballot. Campaigning jointly under the slogan, Diomai is Sonko, they urged supporters to vote for Faye, who ultimately won with more than 54% of the vote in the first round. In his first statement after his appointment, Sonko said that he would present Faye with a complete list of proposed ministerial appointments for his approval. He also added that he would not let Faye shoulder this heavy responsibility alone. Faye, 44, has never previously held elected office. He swept to a first-round victory on a promise of radical reform just 10 days after being released from prison. Acknowledging the country's desire for systemic change, Fay pledged to strengthen the country's democracy and establish an independent judiciary. He also faces the challenge of carrying out national reconciliation while easing the cost of living crisis, fighting corruption, and appearing as someone not subservient to Sonko. He has also promised to restore national sovereignty over key assets, such as the oil, gas, and fishing sectors. The new government also needs to create enough jobs in a nation where 75% of the 18 million population is aged under 35, and the unemployment rate is officially 20%. Fay, a former tax inspector, is Senegal's fifth president since independence from France in 1960. He has a daunting task ahead of him, and it remains to be seen how he will navigate the country's economic, political, and social challenges. The moral of the story, Diomaye is Sonko, could be interpreted as the importance of unity, strategic alliances, and compromise in achieving political goals. Despite Usmane Sonko's disqualification from running in the presidential elections, he and Basiru Diomaye Faye formed a partnership under the slogan, Diomaye is Sonko, rallying their supporters to vote for Faye instead. This alliance led to Faye's victory and subsequent appointment as president, with Sanko becoming prime minister. This story illustrates that sometimes, in pursuit of larger objectives, such as systemic change and reform, individuals or groups may need to set aside personal differences or past conflicts to work together. Effectively, it also highlights the power of collective action and the ability to leverage support from various segments of society to achieve political success. Additionally, the story underscores the challenges and complexities of governance as the new government faces numerous tasks and responsibilities, including national reconciliation, economic reforms, job creation, and addressing social issues. It serves as a reminder of the expectations placed on political leaders to deliver on their promises and effectively govern their nations.